How's it going guys and gals, Superstar Top here, and after playing the Destiny 2 beta for an unhealthy amount of time yesterday, I wanted to spend some time talking about the new and redone classes, and how each of them plays in this new sandbox we've been given that is Destiny 2. First up today, we'll be talking about my personal favorite, the Titan. New for Destiny 2 is the Sentinel subclass. While you still have the option to drop a giant dome-shaped bubble to protect your team, by default, you will now summon a powerful Captain America-esque shield that can be thrown at your enemies or used to guard yourself while you get in close to bash some brains in. This new super is very cool and very fun to play around with, but perhaps more interesting is the new class ability Titans have been given that allows them to make either a small barrier that refills your ammo when you crouch behind it, or a larger sized wall that blocks shots and damages enemies who choose to walk through it. The rest of the options for the class are, sadly, pretty standard fare. The grenades and jump options have all been carried over from Destiny 1, and we only have access to a single skill tree in the beta. The locked skill tree is based around being more aggressive, with traits that recharge your own abilities quicker and allow you to throw your shield a second time during your super, whereas the skill tree we have now only allows it to be thrown once. The unlock skill tree we have gives you and your nearby allies an overshield when you get a kill with a melee attack, and also allows you to cast a bubble like defenders could in the original Destiny. It's obvious these two classes are designed around solo and team play, which is pretty neat. But let's get back to the barriers. These things have dramatically changed the way Titans can play. In particular, the rally barrier that reloads you and your allies' guns can turn PvE encounters into fun little shooting galleries, where you're constantly poking up from cover, firing a few shots, coming down for a quick reload, and popping right back up. If you've ever played a Time Crisis machine at an arcade, then this mechanic will be both familiar and fun to you. This ability synergizes really well with the sweet business exotic auto rifle Titans are given in the beta, and works great for fast-firing submachine guns as well. The fact that it also allows teammates to join you in cover and that they also get the benefits means that this will likely become a new staple during strikes and raids, especially when teaming up with damage-boosting warlocks. But how does the new super play out in PvE? Yes. Yes. Oh, throw it. Yes. Smashing, bashing, baby time! Goodbye, dogs! Goodbye, uh, and it's done. And it's done. And I'm dead. For PvE, the super just doesn't seem to last long enough to really clear out groups or do significant damage to a stronger target. Now this is easily something that can be changed prior to the final release, but it may be difficult because the super lasts for a pretty good amount of time in PvP, and it seems unlikely Bungie will break their golden rule of not separately balancing PvE and PvP. This certainly doesn't mean the super is worthless in PvE, it just means you'll likely want to use it more defensively in strikes and raids than you would in the Crucible. Ultimately though, we'll see what happens on September 6th, and if the duration of the super gets buffed or nerfed at all. So, if we're gonna talk about PvP, then hot dang, I'm gonna talk more about the barriers, because just as the smaller one suits PvE very well, the larger one is absolutely game-changing in Crucible. Not only can it give you some cover, but it can also block off roots and create new choke points since it damages enemies who walk through it. There's also more of an option here to use your Ward of Dawn, as dropping it on a capture point or objective leads to an easy victory, although I have yet to see anyone choose to do this over going ham with the smaller shield. All in all, the Sentinel class is very fun to use, although the balance between game modes seems like it could use a little work. The second skill tree that is currently locked looks a little more interesting to me personally than the one that we can use in the beta, so hopefully on full release the class will be even more fun to play. I gotta say, at the end of the day, I'm more impressed with the barriers than any particular aspect of the subclass, if you haven't noticed. I just, I, I really like them a lot. I think come full release of the game, they're gonna open up a lot of different options and playstyles that weren't really available in Destiny 1. Uh, especially since Warlocks also have abilities that synergize very well with these barriers, and that's something that really excites me as a player and a lover of this game. So, with that all being said, that brings us to the Striker Titan. 
In the beta, the skill tree we are given gives us an extra grenade and the shoulder charge we all know and love, but its damage has been nerfed pretty hard, and it has a significant cooldown now after you use it to strike an enemy. It's best used as a movement option, and while I agree it shouldn't be as dangerous as it was in the first game, giving it a cooldown makes it seem like they could stand to up the damage of it a little bit. The lock skill tree extends the duration of Fist of Havoc with each kill since it's a roaming super, and it upgrades your melee to give you a few new buffs when used. Honestly, there's not too much to talk about here as we've seen nearly 90% of this subclass for the last three years. It is worth mentioning that lightning grenades are no longer the absolute killing machines they used to be. They take about a second and a half before they activate, giving you ample time to escape their wrath. Now just because we've seen this bad boy before doesn't mean it's not awesome. Changing Fist of Havoc to a roaming super makes it incredibly fun to use, and it led to my most fun moment in the Crucible so far. I'll let the footage play itself out. Well, if you've made it this far, thanks for listening to me ramble on about Titans for seven minutes. Feel free to like or subscribe or do what you gotta do down there in the comments section. I'm not gonna judge. I'll be making videos on the other classes just as soon as I can. I'm Superstar Top, and these were my Superstar Thoughts. Sorry, I just said Superstar Thoughts. <laughs>